Hey, and welcome to the Vergecast for the week of July 1st, 2001. Just kidding. It's 2013. I'm Josh Topolsky. Oh, what up, girl? <laughs> that's, How's it going? That's Neelai Patel. Hey, girl. Hey. And Ross Miller Yo, is also with up? us. What is going on with my hair right now? I am so desperately in need of a haircut. Yeah. I just want to say something. I'm not going to I'm not going to name names, but a very very high level uh corporate communications person. Mm-hmm. A very from a very major company in our space. Okay. Uh emailed me and was like you need to get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> last week, last week after, after the Verge cast, that's amazing. And I was like, wow. I agree. Uh, and then, um, and that was that was. I can't tell you what the rest, <laughs> rest of the conversation was about. Yeah. Um, do I also look really red? No, on this one I look red. That one I look. That normal. monitor is. The, that's to, the accurate one. The Sony one is a good one. What did you say to me, John? I am yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at the Sony one right this, there. You're, you're good. So Let me look at this for one. the viewer. There's a Sony reference monitor. <laughs> yeah, and then a, and Samsung, a Samsung TV. The Samsung which is just doing super it saturated, wants. really red, and this Sony one looks amazing. Yeah. So, I think uh, you've learned your lesson. Buy, buy an Xperia Z. <laughs> just kidding. Don't don't do that. Um, speaking of speaking of Xperia Zs, uh, I have. Oh, like did you Samsung. pick? I, I didn't pick yet. I, so I took the review yeah. units, and okay. I've been and I've been literally like moving my sim between yeah. trying to decide. Right. I have a lot of thoughts about the about these yeah. the Google Play Edition phones. Okay, we don't have to talk about them now. I'm dying to know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, basically, you know, the one is better screen. Yeah, mm-hmm. I believe better camera. Mm-hmm. I'm not entirely sure. The cameras are like a weird toss up right now. Yeah. It's really hard right. to figure out. They're they're both they both seem annoying in one way or another but the one camera on the on the on the version on the AT&T version that I've been using it seems great. I love the yeah. camera. It's actually a really good camera. So so I do believe that the one on You this, mean the Sense camera. The Sense camera, but yeah. I mean the, the software is the same. So mm. I, this is also the review unit which wait, I wait, believe no, the software on that is totally different. No, the software is different but like the actual like focusing the sensor. like sensor stuff yeah. the stuff that interacts with the sensor is supposed to be the same for the one on the okay. stock version. On the stock version. I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, I think, in in fact, I think that we wrote about it in our review, and also I think Giz wrote about something about it as well. But I saw, I see definite differences. At any rate, so, so I believe the one camera is better. The, there's no question the hardware is so much nicer on the one. Right. But, button, but, Home button, menu button, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, slightly larger screen, and mm-hmm. yet a basically kind of same size or even a little bit thinner body, mm-hmm. okay, uh, which is really nice. I really think the button placement is like a billion times more convenient. Mm-hmm. Like trying to get to like so the home button on this device is right here where my where my thumb is. On the on the one, it's here. It's up here. Right. Yeah. So like when I need to like power it off, I'm doing this. Oh yeah. You which is insane. You're pushing the screen. And I have huge hands. I have yeah. big hands. Like. This is insane. Like it shouldn't be, ha- be happening. So I've noticed a lot more that like I'm not doing that. And this also has a home button that you can wake it up with. So like, that's really convenient. Um, I the brightness on this screen. The screen looks really good, but the brightness is like Samsung's doing that thing where they tweak it down really oh, hard. Yeah, yeah. So I got I have an app called Lux Auto Brightness, which actually does a really wonderful job of adjusting yeah. mm-hmm. the screen appropriately. It runs in the background. I'm testing that now to see what kind of battery drain that causes. <laughs> so the Samsung feels very much like the other Nexuses that the yeah. Samsung Nexuses that I've used, which right. are like. It's like there's just a few things that are annoying, and those things and are those the things, screen, right? The screen and the camera, <laughs> right? Um, but, but this camera actually, this camera actually seems seems relatively acceptable. It's low light performance; it's not yeah. that good. But mm-hmm. switching it to night mode helps. But then again, focusing gets really slow. Um, long and short of it is, the stuff about the one that didn't bother me when I was using it with Sense mm-hmm. now seems a lot more pronounced. Now that this phone exists, now that you can look at it mean? side by side with like the right. the weird button placement and the lack of a third button and um, uh, the fact that you get that bar that menu bar when you don't have right. uh, a dedicated like drop down uh, and uh, and the size of the screen actually like it's surprising but this is so edge to edge yeah and so mm-hmm. just like it's the screen that like the oh, key God. I now really notice when the keyboard is. Bumped up by that the stupid that, menu button, the menu bar, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, right. Wait, is that beneath the keyboard? Or it's does it go above the keyboard. it? It's really yeah. stupid. Yeah. So, so, so I started to notice those things. I'm really torn. I'm really. I have to tell you. I mean, it's a tough decision. Yeah. It's also a lot of money. Yeah. It's you know, and, 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 and they're both good. They're both really good phones. Like in general performance, it, like doing stuff with them, they're mm-hmm. both super duper fast and they feel great. 
Yeah. You know, I've, there's no complaints in terms of the software there. So I'm just really torn. I'm thinking about going back to the iPhone 5, basically. <laughs> <laughs> to solve, just, they just cancel each other my, out. To solve yeah. my problems. I think I'm the only yeah. person who does not like the HTC One hardware. Like, I do not... You like the GS4? I, I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like it's not flat in the back. Like, it's just mm. always shaking. Mm. If it vibrates, like, on the uh, table, yeah. it just does a little, like, wibble I, um, wobble thing. What, I actually... You know, look, it's obvious that the, the, the One hardware is a... Kind of a... Some of it is, like, a rip-off of the iPhone. Right. And it's great to look at. Don't I don't like the, I don't really like the lines, like some of the lines they have, like the antenna mm-hmm. lines and stuff. But I wish I honestly just wish it came in black. Yeah. I'll tell yeah. you this. If they offered it in black, I think it would be a no brainer. I would buy the one in a heartbeat. <laughs> um but so yeah, so I'm yeah. I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm I'm at pretty much at the end of my I'm pretty much at the end of my decision making process and I'm ready to to pull the lever okay. on the G S four. I don't know. No, I don't what? know. I mean, I have to. I by the way, I made a pros and cons list. Like literally, <laughs> I made a pros Just and cons spreadsheet. Oh wow! Uh, in okay. Google Docs, I was like, okay, here are the pros <laughs> and the cons. Um, you know, it's just it's tough, man. It's because the thing is, like buying a subsidized phone, and I mm-hmm. get it. You know, it's like two hundred bucks is a lot of money, but it's not like oh man, Give me your juice. You know, yeah, this is like almost a thousand dollars. Yeah, you're not gonna wait this a few weeks to see, see, uh, see what Motorola does. Well, I am interested in what Motorola is doing, so but we that should but, probably just talk about that. But at the end yeah. of the day, like if it's not stock, I'm not interested. Like if right. I have an option to buy a top of the line stock Android device mm-hmm. with LTE, I mean that's what I'm going to buy. I'm going right. to buy one of those. So unless the Moto device is stock. So It'll obviously have LT, but let's talk about this. Motorola, so Motorola yesterday, yeah. le- actually today they're running the ads, like the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, mm-hmm. yeah. and newspapers. An ad because when an you're ad putting for, out a high end cell phone, you want to make sure you yeah. get the newspaper market locked an ad, down. An ad for a phone that no, <laughs> I mean, an ad for a device. So they that announced nobody's seen Dennis or, Woodside announced the device at D in May. He said it's the mm-hmm. Moto X. Uh, he yeah. said a lot of really insane things about it, about how it would have a lot of sensors. It would know when you're in a car and like you would interact with it differently. This is all. What is that like? It like it knows the car vibrations or something. No, I think it knows how fast it's going. Okay. He's like, he's like, we're gonna, a, we're gonna really, really lean into bike? sensors. What if you're on a bike, I don't know, maybe a bike. <laughs> you're on a plane. You're on a train. It's it like, knows. It just always knows. Really how, how it just you're, knows what you're doing. Uh, no, he's like, it's gonna have a lot of sensors to anticipate what you want to do. Yeah. And then yesterday, the ad leaked, and it's running today, and it's mm-hmm. did it leak the first, or did they, did they? I think they put gave it to Adweek. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. And the Controlled ad was um, the first phone you can design yourself. Yeah. With uh, some, you know, a picture of people jumping off a dock. Right. Jumping it's beautiful photograph. Designed by you, assembled in the USA. The, the photograph yeah. is is a stock photo, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. It has to I be. mean, it's just like it's yeah. like. Um, it's right. just like people... Read, read the copy, Ross. Yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> there it is. Tomorrow. This feels like a stock photo. Sorry. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, you'll eat burgers, watch fireworks, and celebrate the freedom to be whoever you want to be. As wow. long as you're eating Can burgers. we bring up some music in the background here, <laughs> some inspiration? It's with the same spirit yeah. that Patriotic. we're bringing you something new. The first smartphone that you can design yourself. Because today... You this should have the freedom to design. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Because today is the day we celebrate our Independence Day. day. Yeah. Yes. What, what, what is the? By the way, how much are we all watching Independence Day oh, tomorrow? Oh, so right? much. So excited. It. So excited. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, God. What's your favorite scene? I think we've talked it's about this. It's speech. It's obviously That's not my speech. favorite no, scene. No, no, no. No? My favorite scene, we've definitely talked about this on the, on the Verge cast before. <laughs> yeah. My favorite scene is... Um, uh, by the way, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Independence <laughs> Day, spoiler alert. Uh, when they... When they bring the when they get the alien and he like kills all the doctors yeah. and he's got Brent Spiner yeah, yeah. by and the like, throat. Yeah, he's like yeah. he's like working his <laughs> vocal cords and um and you know uh the, the president is there with his yeah. generals and he's like, What do you want? And he's like, We want you to die. Yeah. yeah. And then um he like goes into his brain and the president sees what they do. Yeah. And he's like, uh general, is this glass bulletproof? And the general's <laughs> like, No, and he takes the gun and they shoot the alien. <laughs> That's my favorite. Scene. I, I, I have, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Because it's also cause, hold on, because it's also okay. you you understand the the breath of the the evilness of the yeah, aliens, yeah. and you also also learn that that in the place in Area Fifty One <laughs> where they're experimenting on an alien, they did not make the glass bulletproof, <laughs> which seems like a good idea. It's like it seems like you'd use similar materials to make it alien proof. Yeah. Like anyhow, uh, but also that the president. Like wants to right. shoot the alien. <laughs> yeah. Like he wants to shoot him with a gun. You're gonna hate me. Yeah. but I had no idea that was Brent Spiner. 
at all. Are you kidding me? I never thought who That's it was. That's one of the coolest things about the movie is that He's Data a is like Data is like a weird scientist. Is a weird yeah. scientist in it. Anyway, keep reading Anyhow, God, can we God. just watch Independence Day right <laughs> <Yeah>. now? <laughs> all right, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Finish the statement. Uh, because today you should have the freedom. <laughs> today is the day <laughs> <laughs> to design the things in your life to be as unique as you are. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just the beginning. Imagine what will be possible when you have the world's best design, engineering, and manufacturing talent located here in the USA. Boom. So I've like <laughs> gauntlet thrown. I mean, look, I'm all for that. Yeah. I think it's cool they're no, building here. Great. I just have no idea what that means. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, no, the phone better be awesome because if it's like if it's like yeah. the if it's like a if it's like a um you know escort version <laughs> of a right. phone. Yeah. That's a car, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If it's like, sure. is that a Ford Escort? Yeah, is that a car? Yeah. It's like not a cool car, right? <laughs> yeah, if that's the, it if it's the if it's the Escort, right? They don't make it anymore. If the Escort version of a phone, yeah, yeah. Or if it's the Q, yeah. You know, <laughs> remember, remember how the Nexus Q was designed and built in America, yeah. right, right? Which never could not literally launch. Like they were like, <laughs> we shut it down. We're not doing <laughs> yeah. that. Well, I mean, it sucks. Here, here's the key fact: it's assembled in the USA. They're just literally probably taking all the pieces. No, no, that's from fine. A I don't care if it's assembled. That's, look, that's, that's great. It, it, does, it doesn't It's matter. better than not assembled in the USA. But like, it could literally be like. A, I mean, for we our put economy, the back I think. Cover on this thing, and well, now it's been assembled. Okay, in the fine. USA. Well, no, they're, okay, they're doing more than let's that. Not, right? Let's not. Let's not. Fine. They're, I, 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 because they asked him at D. Right? They asked Dennis Woodside, "What does that mean?" And he's like, "We're buying parts from all over." They're like, you know, the glass is made in Kentucky. The processes right. are, are made here. Like, Kentucky doing, made glass. Oh, it ha, it'll have an OLED screen from Korea. Like, he knew the part list. Okay. And he was like, we're doing the majority. That's not the big, the big question They're hiring is, like 5,000 people. Wow. So the big, like, the big question is, is, is what, what is it that's going to make this phone truly distinct from other right. phones? And why are people going it's gonna to It's going to know one? when you're in a car. Well, okay. That, that could be cool. Yeah. Because because my phone doesn't. I definitely. I mean, my do phone not will think, connect to Bluetooth. So I've been poking around uh, at the what does design by you mean? Because I'm fascinated by that. So idea. So am I. Yeah. Right. Uh, yep. And I'm pretty sure it's like you get to you get to upload a photo and like print it on the back or like That's it. pick it's, a color. Or like, can so, I get a camo? Yeah, back? I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that That's sort it? of like thing. See, I think it'd be Nothing cool. I think like, it'd be cool if you could like, like pick a screen. I think it'd be cool if they did like colorware. For yeah. the phone, that to me would be really awesome. Yeah, it was I think like, it'll be along those like lines. A, like a, like a, you know, New Balance. You can like make your own shoe. Yeah. I think Nike does it too. You can make your own shoe. No, I, I think it'll be colors. It'll be like that. Oh well, that's really awesome. And then okay. and then Jonah want... Peretti will get one that says sweatshop on it, and he'll shut it down. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like no. <laughs> I I I would love that. I think that's great. I yeah. think it, you know we're seeing these. We've seen these leaks. There's you know oh there's gonna be color new color yeah. colored iPhones, cheap mm -hmm. iPhones. You know right. obviously. Um, Nokia and Microsoft have bought into the idea of colors as a as a way to express yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I do think that you could do something more interesting and more custom. Right. You right. know. But I mean, I got. I mean, I have the same questions about this phone. Oh, and the other thing that we learned yesterday, by the way, is that it will be on Verizon, but it will not be a Droid. Okay. So Motorola is like, yeah. very strongly wants to break out of. The yeah, droid it should be. Course. It should be. Nobody and, want. I mean, and 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 you know it. They want to compete with the iPhone with a Galaxy S4, right. like head to head with mm -hmm. like a branded product. So this is going to be this is going to be their, this is the flagship. This is going to be their their right. so Galaxy S4, right? Right. And one. then there's been um, a crappier phone that's been leaking all over the place, which I believe will be the Droid Ultra. Red hair. So they're still going to make a Droid. What is, the, think, what is the Droid Ultra? That's like 720p. Like mm -hmm. the, there was a teaser page that went up and came down yesterday for it on Verizon. That, I, I hate the Droid branding. I really do. Yeah. I mean, but I, I don't think they I know it's been very it. successful for for uh, right. for Verizon. Droid, right? But it's it's awful. It's like here's the thing about it. Okay, I don't have a problem with the word. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with the the very bad taste of the ads and the style oh, yeah. of mm -hmm. the phones and the sound effects and the background graphics. Right. It is like it is like a corn. It's like a corn record. It's very aggressive and like that. Kind of, yeah, corn record. It's, like, it's I, like it's like it's like it's like Call of Duty graphics. Like when I see like <laughs> the stuff that I hate most about tech. Yeah, the mm -hmm. things that I find most like annoying and lame about tech is like when stuff is like tech. Like it looks like it's from the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like 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 lights and yeah. parts. Right. Lights and parts. I call that Call of Duty graphics. Yeah, and now that's it. Like it's just like this kind of like tech stuff. Yeah, right. Um, and they they basically like, you know, bought into that hook, line, and sinker. The well, droid, I, I the droid realize. branding. I mean, if you're been. Motorola, you have to realize like yeah. that all that branding just pushes you away from like the big market. Yeah, because it's not just early adopters. Well, droid's like, been very successful for them. I just yeah, like I just feel start, like it could have been successful good. successful in a more classy mm -hmm. way with better taste. I don't know that Droid's been very successful with them recently. 
Maybe not recently, but but historically, right? But they never yeah. they never evolved the ad and the branding. Like it's right. still well, like kind of complicated like, like claws. Yeah, and right. Kind of put stuff together. But they added like in 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 addition to the claws, they now have like um like bubbly black substances. <laughs> yeah. That are you know in addition like yeah. it's kind of like right sexier, sexier black. Call oh, yeah. of Duty, sexy yeah. Call of Duty. I still don't understand black that blues. ad where they had the guy like he was in his apartment and he like blew a hole in the wall. Oh, yeah. Right. He's yeah. like, oh my concrete apartment in the middle of the desert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finally, I can escape this hell. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like why like, maybe you shouldn't have moved out there in the first place. <laughs> yeah. you know? like, what what's your rent like? Is yeah, it really? It's is probably. It low? Is I mean, he had no roof yeah. either. I don't think. <laughs> it's like it must be pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not paying a lot of money for the for the apartment with no roof in the middle yeah. of the desert. I do like your Oh, you moved into like it's like he moved into looks at it. He, he moved away. into like a nuclear testing area. <laughs> They're like, real, it's really cheap, like 10 bucks a month. Honestly, nobody wants to live. Yeah, I mean, if you want to leave, mm. just blow up the wall. And get <laughs> yeah. Out of here. Oh, yeah. By the way, <laughs> the only way to leave, they drop them in into the structure. And then they're like, yeah. if you want to leave, make sure you use your drone. It's a really to, awesome to TV. blow a you hole can, in the you wall. You can just look at Flipboard for yeah. one second and take off. <laughs> It's gonna be great. Um, anyhow, so yeah, so the Moto X. When do we do, do we know when they're gonna announce it? Do we have any idea? We don't weeks. know. I, I think it'll be within the next month or so. If, there's, if they're ramping up this ad stuff, yeah. Um, I hope I, it's soon. I, I get the I get the feeling we're gonna hear about it soon. They should do it on the Fourth right. of July when everybody's fit, fit, focused on their computers <laughs> yeah. and TVs. Yeah. Um, okay. So what else? Moto X. That's a thing. Yeah. That's an American, all American, patriotic right. phone. Maybe we we'll get with like a with a American flag back. Yeah, mm. huh? think about it. I mean, I would, I would do that. Would you? Yeah, it's because you're a true patriot. I am. Right? Do they have uh, a communist uh, back, communist flag back? Okay. That's yeah. what yeah. I would get. Yeah. Designed yeah. by that's you. What I would get, comrades. <laughs> um, all right. What all else? right. So then, uh, more Android stuff. Ooh. Uh, Wall Street Journal says Google is planning a major expansion of Android mm-hmm. game console, smartwatch, other products. We that... should actually talk about Apple stuff. Their yeah, we watch. Should. Yeah. I well, mean, this is. And they hired the fashion guy. Well, yeah, we should talk about that. Yeah. Anyhow, but Google's going to do yeah, a game I'm console. Saying, I'm just staying in the everybody, Android lane. It's for what a everybody wants, an Android game console. I don't think that's what anybody wants. No one wants no. it. No one wants it because there are real game consoles that play real games. And there are real Android game consoles, and they've all been... Yeah. I mean, right. uh, well, every time, but, but I, every time is, I look at an OUYA, but with like, the support, with the support of the actual Play Store, that could be interesting... But also, and I'm all for like the the option for indie developers to get their foot in the door. Yeah. But but what we really need to do is put pressure on these on the major on on Sony and 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 Microsoft to be more open to. Well, Sony is somewhat more open right. to indie right. game developers. But well, there and there are also the other rumors are. Well, I mean, on the game console thing, like yeah. I I don't believe they can do it. Right. right, they couldn't do it with Google TV, and they couldn't, couldn't do the queue. They couldn't do mm-hmm. the queue, which is slightly less complex. Although, I would they're, submit they're to you that Android queue, on tablets maybe? is still a huge mess. Like I yes. wouldn't buy one for any reason. An Android tablet? Yeah, mm-hmm. I can't imagine buying one. Yeah, at this point. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just they're they've did I mean, really they're, they're, well. The next seven, the next seven was was a is a nice concept, and and I really liked it. Oh, when I look it came it, out. Mine sitting on the bedstand. I look at it every night when I go to sleep, and I okay. never turn it on. Oh, you never you never turn it on. I I never use it. Like, like a widget, I, look, like a window. I mean, I the, I, the, the iPad four. Mini, the look, iPad Mini no did the job. There's no qualitative difference between me using my Nexus Four to do Android stuff. And me using the Nexus. I mean, 7. the issue is like yeah. if you have a choice between the Nexus Seven and the iPad Mini, there is a price difference. But let's say that that's not an yeah. issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's like obviously the iPad Mini is far superior right. in every right. way, shape, and form. Yeah. You know, sorry. No, it's. it's I like, mean, like what's funny I mean, is sorry that to whoever my iPad really Mini also loves. the Nexus Seven is great, but, like, but if you have an Android phone, own. having an Android tablet is kind of like redundant. Yeah. Right. Basically, in my opinion. But that's just one man's opinion. No, I mean, like, uh, it, you know, what's funny is the iPad Mini has made me use my real iPad far more. I really? have. Oh, I have to say that, that what I've, I like it. I don't, what, I, my my iPad three is yeah. like that's the computer I use. In my you don't now. like the size. I think like, that's interesting. I, I find I find uh, I'm either we've talked about this before, but I'm either on my laptop or my my. I mean, I use my iPad in the most minimal way. I like yeah. read feeds mm-hmm. with it, occasionally read a book on mm-hmm. it, very right. occasionally. Some very light web browsing. Yeah, it's like when I don't want it, when I'm too lazy to get my computer for something. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I find it to be incredibly restrictive in use. Like, yeah. trying no, it keeps to do things. From working. That's it's so no. I mean, maybe that's good for you. I just it's like so when I get when I when I go from using the mini or any tablet to a, a to laptop. a computer. Yeah. It's like oh, like <laughs> oh my god, I I can do a thing now. Whereas before it's just like a struggle. Um, let's talk about, but let's talk about the watch for a second. Can we okay. talk about watches? Yeah. Let's like really get into this. So, so two things. There's a story that Apple is. I mean, I think this is kind of at this point 
should be a foregone conclusion. Apple's going to do some kind of watch device. Right. We know that Phil Schiller has been into watches in the past. Like he's he's actually talked about that he's like a watch guy. Yeah. Um, at at all things D. Sorry, at the D Profound, conference, profoundly interested. In at the, the D conference, yes, Tim Cook. Something. Tim Cook, opportunity in the wrist. Yeah, yeah. He made lots of mentions and also did a lot of gestures towards his wrist when talking about. He was wearing a fuel band. He kept pointing at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. He kept pointing. So, so you know, and I have no doubt whatever they do is going to have like Nike fuel band integration. Oh, for sure. You know. Um, so the the thing he said was there are a lot of devices that do different things and no one device that does it all. Sure. Right. So it's a clear. That totally, like, totally, yeah. op- totally huge opportunity there for people who care about digital. Tech watches, tech watches, and and Fitbit style devices, mm-hmm. right? Uh, which I think is a relatively small, yeah, part of the the. And by the way, I do think there is something faddish about health de- health tracking devices because, like, as a person who's used several health tracking devices, you get to a point where you're like, okay, I've got this data. Mm-hmm. Now what? So I I the, disagree with you. The fuel band is interesting because it actually gives you. I mean, it, it, there is some concept of like. There's some concept of a goal where you're sort of competing with yourself and with other people. I've seen people compare. No, so I the the Fitbit is like completely flooded into my family and my friends. Yeah. So they all have Fitbits. They all fit, generally all have Fitbit ones. Yeah. They are hyper competitive with each other. Mm-hmm. I've watched Becky and her mother race each other around a kitchen because mm. they're super competitive on yeah. steps. Like they're like really. <laughs> I know. I get that, but I think that there there's a I think there's a there's a, a limitation on how long that you'll be interested in that type of competition. Well, for some people, but like, like the idea of being able to quantify these things that mm-hmm. you qualify. No, it's great. Doing, I mean, like, it's great. It also like it adds like the Fitbit thing is nice because the ecosystem supports like food as well. Like right, literally all the numbers I'm putting scale. in, the numbers I'm taking out. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think well there's... until they until they can like know what you're eating. Wait, without you like, having to like input it in right, a right. App, no, I just think like, like that's going to be not that pe- useful. I, I think that stuff, like that quantified self, like once you do it and you have it on a watch device, mm-hmm. it's like I don't have a like I am wearing a Fitbit, but I, I find think it there's annoying. a segment of the of the market right now that yes, that's very interesting and attractive too. I think the much much larger um, segment is it's like so far from their mind. You know, the average consumer, yeah. it's so far from their mind to track their health mm-hmm. right. that. You really need to do something special. Maybe Apple has that special thing. But so, so that's obviously going to be part of this. Hold on. I, I don't want to get yeah. hung up on that one okay. thing. That's, I think it would be dumb if they didn't have a tracking ability where you could do health tracking. And maybe maybe it'll interface with all of the different – maybe it'll do Fitbit and Nike Fuel right. Band mm-hmm. and – Oh, won't do that. It'll be, it'll be Fuel Band. I'm assuming it'll be Fuel Band, <laughs> but it'd be cool if they're like, hey, it's interoperable. We'll give you an API to do yeah, this. And right. you know, Fitbit, you can go like set up your stuff for it. Um, so, so they hired this Yves Saint Laurent. Is it Yves Saint Laurent? Yeah, Paul yes. Denev. The, who is a who was formerly, by the way, at Apple in the nineties. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Apple Europe or something like that. Yeah, okay, but just let's remember that for a second. Apple, Paul Denev, that's his name. Paul right? Denev. A- Apple Europe in the nineties. Let's remember Apple in the nineties. Just just from, think back. Mm-hmm. Sales and marketing at Apple Europe from ninety to ninety seven. All right. So remember those Following years? stints at Exxon Mobil. Remember wow. remember remember ninety to ninety seven, just for a second. I'm not okay. saying it has any correlation, but remember those years at Apple. Uh and he his job at Yves Saint Laurent was basically he was the what SVP or is oh CEO he of, was a CEO CEO of, yeah, of, of, of he was also the CEO of Nina Ricci uh, and president of Land like he's right and his job when he was at Apple was what he was in he was in sales and marketing sales, marketing. sales and marketing all right so he's got a background in 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 luxury goods and marketing mm-hmm. um, it seems to me first off app seems to me Apple needs and he a, did guy. A, a complete overhaul. Of Seems to me Apple needs a guy like that to begin with because they are making luxury goods. Right. And mm-hmm. they should be selling them as luxury goods. They have sold them as luxury right. goods. But the, the oddity is like they've come out already and just explicitly said this is not to do with like the brown tree departure, you know, that retail. Right. No, 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 no. It's not yeah. about retail, but it's yeah. about it's about how they sell and market their products. And I think that it makes a lot of sense on a just a basic level. Mm-hmm. You know, not a not a hey, they're doing a watch, they must want like a a guy who knows about watches yeah, you don't to hire do this. this you know? sort of dude to to build a watch. No, I no. think I think that that but you might hire him speak because you're going to have a product line that includes essentially a fashion item mm-hmm. which a watch would be. Mm-hmm. I mean, so this is where I get hung up on the watch concept. And I'm not saying that they're not going to do it. I think they're definitely going to do it. Where I get hung up on the watch concept is um, there's a certain kind of person that wears a watch. Some people wear a watch because they out of necessity. Some right. people wear a watch because they like watches. Some people do wear digital watches because they like the concept of like kind of a futuristic or techie watch that does right. things more things than just like tell the time or the date. Um, I'm not sure those people are all the same kind of person. 
they're certainly not actually right mm-hmm. and and I'm trying to imagine a scenario where I give up the watch that I'm wearing, which I have a sentimental I have sentimental attachment Are you wearing I, it now? I'm wearing it now yeah. I have sentimental attachment to it I have it was my grandfather's watch I have um, aesthetic attachment to it. I like the way it looks as a watch. Um, and, and also it's functional, right? In the sense that it tells time. Every watch is going right. to tell the time. That's not an issue. Uh, this is also a chronograph, but right. I don't really right. use the chronograph functions <laughs> of it. Uh, I'm Go. not, well, my grandfather bought this, I think, because he was, he had a, a boat and he, right. he was like doing yeah. boat stuff with it. Yeah. But I mean, like, I, I do not have a boat. Just navigating the, by the stars. With yeah. Well, no, you can actually, you can actually use this to do, um, like long division and it's really insane (laughs) yeah this has all sorts of functions yeah it has all sorts of crazy functions anyhow um the point is i'm trying to imagine a scenario where i would take this watch off and put on like a pebble or a motorola watch or even Mm -hmm. an apple designed watch like i don't that's not the kind of watch i want on my wrist and it's 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 a tough thing too because like that i don't think that watch is going away because that is like the kind of hand-me-down fashion icon watch Whereas an iWatch or whatever, it's yeah. probably going to be upgraded every two years. They're going to get a new one. Like, there's, well, there's no that. More down. There's that. There's also just the, the aesthetic question, which is, mm-hmm. um, you know, I see a lot of people with watches. Yeah. I don't see that many people with, with like, well, that even that's like a traditional analog watch. watch. Yeah. I don't see a lot, but it's a it's a, it's funky. It's got a yeah. cool design. Right. But I don't see a lot of people with, um, like tech watches, and they do exist. And yeah. I used to mm-hmm. own them. I mean, I had some watches like in the '90s that were no, we, crazy, yeah, like had pebble. crazy I displays. Right, right. you have a Pebble, right? Yeah. And so, I, and I know that Apple's going to do a much better job than anybody in terms of aesthetics, yeah. right? Just right. so the question is, you know, how much do they want to move the needle in the watch world mm-hmm. if they're doing a right. watch? You know, I think that's the question, right? I get that, like, if you wear a fuel band, you don't need the fuel band because you'll have this thing. Like, you may say, all right. I'm going to get this instead of the fuel ban. I just wonder what is their uphill battle? Is there an uphill battle? And I think there is to get people to think about We've wearing. We've talked about this before. I mean, this feels like I think there's a large market of people who wear watches for fashion, and then there's a large market of people who don't wear watches. Right. And you can go get the people who don't wear watches by being like, this is now functional. Yeah. It's right. like doing stuff for you in like a tech. And if you're Apple, right. you can market it as not only like, uh, a tech utility thing, but as a fashion thing, I think that's really a great point. That. The people who don't wear watches, I mean, I think that's a, that's a huge right. market. Yeah, for them. yeah. I mean, so so obviously, hey, did my mic just cut out? Yeah, guys. Hello, are we still on? Is there a crazy power outage? Hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh you you yeah. broke it. Neil, I broke it. Yeah. Um, so I think that I think that the question is then then becomes you know what does the watch do? Yeah. Right. Presumably, it interfaces with a phone. It doesn't replace a phone, no, does it? But does right. it? But does it no, I don't think any so. phone or just an Apple. Phone? And I think, I mean, I think I'm guessing it interfaces with just Apple. Yeah. Have you their ever watch, known Apple to make something that's interoperable? Their watch definitely interfaces. Not in the Jobs era, Apple. but like we're talking Tim Cook. Possibly. Tim Cook has no interest in doing anything Look, I, if different you, than they what sell Steve more Jobs would be doing. phones than anybody, right? I mean, right, they're selling yeah. more phones than Samsung right now at this moment in time. Yeah. Um, if you can convert half of those sales into watch sales and accessory for the iPhone, yeah, it's yeah. an enormous business. Yeah. And I think that's that's where they're headed with. Do you that. think this is so? Do you think it's it's sort of a dumb terminal? So I I think I think that I know that it's running like full on iOS. Right. Well, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, that makes. I don't mm. know if that makes sense at all. It doesn't. And uh, I think I mean they what have like a hundred people working on it. I think they're trying to make it a little computer. And I think what they needed to do, like, I think that. I don't think you need a little computer on your wrist. I think you need an auxiliary display for your phone. But but you would want to if you you left your phone at home or you went out for a jog, you'd want to have the functionality, the yeah. full functionality of that. I look. I don't know why they didn't take that iPod Nano that people were already turning into a watch and just like subtly shifted into. Being maybe that's a watch. what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, maybe okay. this is maybe this is a um, extension of that. Right. Perhaps that's why know? they changed the name. I mean, it could so be, by the way, it could be as simple as, I mean, I think we're, we're giving, I think we're giving a lot of, you know, our, our imaginations tend to run wild when we think about Apple stuff. Right. You know, they do but tend so the to do like incremental. Go- I know for a fact Google's working on a watch too. Yeah, but that's fine. But Google, but Google is an Apple. Right. Nobody wants a Google watch. Google has to convince people that a Google watch is cool. It'll, Apple, it'll watch Apple, Apple still can say, we, this watch is cool, and people be like, okay, it's cool. Yeah. You know, and they'll want to buy it. I think, but it is interesting how, like, in my brain, I'm like, oh, it's going to be, you know, because people have talked about they're using yeah. curved glass, and it's going to be a wraparound screen, mm-hmm. and all this crazy. But it actually may be, like, people loved 
the iPod Nano, and a lot of people used it as a watch, and we thought, how can we make that experience better? Here's a new design. Yeah. We're going to ship yeah. it with a band, and now it interfaces with your phone, does all, because there's a bunch of stuff in iOS 7, which is allows for more interoperability. Oh, yeah. in tons it's, it's tons of right, yeah. Yeah. right. And so, and so it might be as simple as, we took this thing, it's a fully loaded, you know, it's mm-hmm. got all these apps on it that you can use with or without a phone. But if you use it with your phone, here's all the new stuff it'll do. You can make calendar appointments on it. You can get all of your notifications. You can change your music, blah, 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 like whatever Pebble does, plus right. a bunch of other cool stuff. And, you know, see the weather on it. You know, why didn't we put the weather? Why didn't we put weather information on our weather icon? Because you can just <laughs> glance at your watch and see it now. Right. That'll be their ultimate diss to, <laughs> yeah. to me. To you personally. personally. Yeah. yeah. You got to buy the watch. I'm like, okay, fine. Now I'm getting the watch. Mm-hmm. I do think, by the way, I do do this thing where I look at my watch. I maybe right. told you about this recently, mm-hmm. where I do this weird thing where I, when I want to check the weather, I look at my watch um, because I, cause I'm used to going like this. Right. Yeah. And these two things are very similar. It's, Glancing it's at this, glanceable information. Glanceable yeah. information the, like so my brain doesn't make I a good never distinction. Actually, check. I wear the watch because really? I've been wearing a watch like forever, right. and I can't feel weird without wearing it. Yeah. I never set the time. I never look at it. Is it oh, is it, I check my just all, I check my huh? watch all the it's time. It's right now okay, because I'm, I've been in the Eastern Time Zone for more than like a minute. But like when I travel, <laughs> I never like. Reset I check it. my watch all the time. Here's my dream. My dream is that Apple makes a really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, traditional looking watch okay. this is my this would be my personal dream that it looks kind of like this watch yeah and the screen looks like this but mm-hmm. it's a super high resolution like circular retina display that you can swipe you can have like a traditional watch face yeah. that would in my opinion would make me seriously consider getting one of these things yeah. if it looked like a traditional watch and i could put this kind of band on it and i could put like this kind of face on it mm-hmm. right. and then swipe away from it to something else that to me would be kind of a game changer and it was high resolution enough that it looked you know, and it would obviously yeah. sense, like when you do this, it would obviously sense and turn itself on. So yeah. here's that's another thing they could do, so which here's is a lot the thing of sensor about this stuff. Watch, and I think this is. Yeah. I mean, now I'm excited. If they did that, I would be like legitimately <laughs> they psyched get about there. it. So here's the. And yeah. I think this is the Apple issue. The Apple way. No, I think this is like Apple's problem right, right now. What is In it? general, is that now it's like they've been running around for, you know, a year hinting about a watch. Yeah. Uh, Cook was like hinting about a watch. Yeah. They've hired this guy. <laughs> you know, yeah, they've hired this guy, and yeah. nobody knows what he's going to do. Yeah. He's director of special projects. Yep. I actually don't think he's going to work on the watch. I think okay, fine, but, but like, but the you know all this the lot of snowball steam, effect lot of for snowball the watch is there. And, yeah, and it's like now they have to deliver it. Right, and it, right. what if they this don't? Cla- but this is classic Apple. But I mean, no, to but me, like, this is the most but it's Apple not, thing. It's the last did. thing. The last thing that they did was they ran around for eighteen months saying that they were going to build a TV. And well, they didn't. They didn't. I mean, a lot I of mean, this the last, is. I mean, a lot I'm, of this is I'm the rumor saying, mill. I mean, they can't no, no, be held the last responsible product for. Product-related quote from yeah. Steve Jobs in this world is, "I cracked it." Yeah, I cracked the TV problem. Yeah, but that's not. But that wasn't. But that wasn't. And then Tim that Cook was, ran around for was in, eighteen That months. was in a book. That was in a book about Steve Jobs. It wasn't he, like it was Steve his, Jobs. He said it, but he didn't go up on stage and say, "We finally cracked it." I'll let you know in a few months. I think that quote that, I mean, has that's been the, hanging that, over Apple's head because we like Tim Cook been, is running quote, around saying, you know, we're really interested. We we're going to keep pulling the thread. We're going to keep building. But that quote's been it. hanging and over them, but not, I don't think by basically, choice. Basically, I think I think not by choice. Well, right. I think Isaacson put that in his book, and it's in his book. So you're and saying so people, that was a, the ultimate Steve Jobs troll? No, I'm saying like that. Like in, I'm saying that. I'm saying that in, in in over several like casual conversations with the author of that book, Steve Jobs made mention of something that they were working on Mm -hmm. that they maybe at that point had gotten further on than they had previously and it's in the book and somebody a journalist somewhere said or somebody whatever at some point decided to go like look at this quote in here this means something do you remember no no the the pre-release of the book when they released chapters of the book before the book came out but apple didn't publish that was one of the ones that apple didn't publish the book i mean it's published by who is a random house or no i hear what you're saying but like Whatever the CEO of the company, his last product related yeah, but, quote, the founder of but the his company, product, but okay, but was, I think you're not I solve TV. I, I'll be honest. And then I think Tim Cook ran around for eighteen months. I think you're being literally a saying I'll be exactly the, the right, I the same words about television. I think you're being a and little. They, they have not yet. Been I able think to you're deliver. being a little unfair. Let's look at it in perspective. Yeah, okay. and I honestly do believe this is how it went down. Okay. Walter Isaacson has many conversations with Steve Jobs. One of them, he says, I think we finally cracked TV. It's in the midst of the book. It's not like the, the ultimate. No, it's at the very end. Well, but I mean, I'm saying but it's not like it ends, on, it ends on and then and now what will they what will come for the TV for TV uh, with Apple or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? It's not like the focus of the book. It's like he says it in the midst of a conversation talking about 
he's talking about lots of different things, right? So whatever. Let's just say at that moment, Steve Jobs felt that they had cracked TV, okay? Or that something had come up that he was really excited about in a conversation with the author of the book. The author of the book puts it in the book. The book comes out. There are quotes that the publisher releases to get people excited. One of them is right. like, Steve Jobs talks about future products in this book, in this posthumous, I mean, this book, you know, uh, was it after he died the book was released? Uh, it was shortly after he died. Yeah. Yeah, so this, in, in, this, in, this, in this book, you know, following his death, Steve Jobs is talking about the future of let Apple. Me just, let me just give you three, fine. But hold on, wait, let me finish my point. Okay. Let me just finish my point. <laughs> let me just finish here. Mm -hmm. So as a result... Apple now has to answer questions about right, and here are TV. the answers to and the Tim, questions. And Tim Cook can't be like Steve didn't know what he was talking about. Okay, here's Tim Cook. Apple doesn't do hobbies as a general rule. Okay. Apple TV is an area of intense interest for us. Sure. That was his quote for. He said that over and over again for eighteen months. That's the second time he said Tim that twice Cook. at D. Just so you know. Yeah, but he said it I mean, two different. That D's. was his quote. Right. Uh, TV has been left behind to Brian Williams. Yes, like they are they are saying over I, and over again, like this is. I don't. I don't. I don't. But I also but, think you uh, have to remember. Look, look. You have to remember. You want to keep shareholders excited. You want to keep your uh, your community uh, and your no your, your to fans. There's no reason for them for, over this. Like right. they they. I'm were not apologizing. Up, I'm just they saying they were set up by the book. I'm saying they were. And they, yeah, and but they didn't the know. Amount, I don't think the level of speculation over the TV product yeah. was like. I mean, you you Tim raging what, when Tim when somebody he says that went Tim went on television. Well, what would you do if you were TV Tim? Well, has been left I like, behind. I, what would you Brian do if you Williams. if you went on TV and they had if, and the only thing they've managed to deliver is rumors of a yeah, time up until now, cable up, app, up to now, a TV everywhere. App I mean, Apple if, TV. if you were, what would you do if you were Tim Cook and you and people kept asking you about TV and you knew that it was an important area and that you'd already gotten into it? Mm -hmm. What are you going to say? Like, yeah, TV's cool. Like, we're not that interested in it right now. You say what Steve Jobs was constantly saying. There's like, a hobby. You know, it's a hobby. It's impossible to get into. There well, are structural reasons. Uh, obviously, there's why some, we can't enter the market. I mean, obviously, there's some change in the sense that they don't feel like it's a hobby. Right. I mean, first off, TV. I, look, I, look, I don't know. I mean, what the, they you have think. to also remember All the market has the market when has I look evolved. At what they're doing. When I look at the, this like <sighs> drumbeat of watch stuff, it reminds me of the drumbeat of TV stuff. Look, there's mm -hmm. classic. It's classic Apple overhyping. Apple has not, in this case, Tim Cook has not done anything to d. To downplay the hype, to dehype it, right, right, right. He's he. If anything, he is he is. I wouldn't say they've said a lot on the watch stuff. There's been a lot of rumors. He said a few things at D. There's not been an excessive amount I, of talking the, about watches. I think the watch, but the TV stuff. The TV stuff is almost feels inevitable that. First off, Gene Munster has been spending the last ten years talking about Apple's TV plan. No, yeah, he thinks and and, do and, it. and and Apple has increasingly gotten into the TV business. In the sense that the Apple TV is much more of a developed product than it was than that original Apple but TV that, that came but out. But it's way behind right. all of its competitors. Like, it's behind. It's term, behind like, a lot of its competitors. It has Xbox, two, Roku, and it has certainly. two features that are killer. Right. It has AirPlay yeah, and it has right. iTunes. Yeah. And you can rent movies from right, iTunes. Right. Both of those features are killer. Right. Everything else about Everything it is else like is, status is, quo. And I will agree that like navigation in general, like yeah. look and feel of, of Apple TV and its in its partner apps are like pretty awful. Yeah. In yeah, my it's opinion. Crazy. I mean it's it's not I mean, search, there should be some universal search. Like, they could have built that into the thing. Right. It's all, like, plugging into the same interface, basically. Why not say, like, why? they don't want to do that, obviously. They right. want you to watch it on iTunes, essentially. That's their biggest problem with TV, is that, in my opinion, and this is a little bit of a tangent, but Apple's biggest problem with TV is that they want everybody to buy it from them. Yeah. And in TV, at this point, that is just no way that's possible. And also right. for the people who are making the stuff... They don't want it to be that way, right? Because they well, lose I mean, you control. At, they when lose you, when control. When you rearrange, you know, they they just put out a bunch of other services on it. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, it was funny because the top line was like, like crackle. HBO. Go. No, no, it's not crackle. Quello. No, Quello. Which is like Quello. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. But it's funny because there's HBO Go and ESPN, like the big wins, and they're like also Quello. Like, yeah, the bottom. <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. So like you know you're moving. But still, all the like Amazon, around. like I, I want to use my Amazon Prime oh, account on there. It's never going to. Well, yeah, that's what's crazy. I can use Netflix. I pay for your subscription service. I can watch when I want to watch something. I'm not going to buy Freaks and Geeks. Like I'm watching it on Netflix. So I can already do that. Yeah. So why not just let me have my Amazon Prime yeah. streaming as well? Right. Because I already pay a flat fee for that. Right. right. It's like, don't look fine. Don't give me the stuff that I have to buy. Just give me the stuff well, that can be streamed. Well, this for one's free. Saying, so when you, I went to reorganize, well, but all that's these like icons, their problem. If they can't and allow that, that, the top row of Apple services on the Apple TV, you can't move them. Wait, you can move in. I didn't know you could move any. Of them. I didn't know you could move them. Yeah, either. you hold the button. It's just like <laughs> it's iOS. You hold the button down, and you can move them. <laughs> that's the news to me. Interface anyway. But yeah, like, it's stupid. It's, it's not a terrible. Good idea. I have no idea. But you can't. Yeah, but that's part of how they're going to crack it. It's better interface. Siri, Siri control with Bing search. I mean, it's something like Microsoft nailed the voice thing first. Siri's going to Bing shows and tell you where you can watch them. 
I really, the more I think about like voice interfaces, the more I think it's a, t- they're all disaster. I mean, they, I, I would say Microsoft has let a, left a bad taste in my mouth for all that stuff. Yeah. For that for, for the input one stuff that you always argue yeah. for, like, yeah. I don't care anymore. Yeah, like, yeah it's all over. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I tell you, I just redid my setup, my whole home theater setup. Oh I God. heard you ranting about Sonos. I went crazy. Yeah. I went crazy with Sonos, on Sonos, and with Sonos. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to get rid of my receiver. I'm going to get rid of my sound bar. I'm going to get all of these wires out of my cabinetry mm-hmm. and i'm done with it like i'm so sick of wires i'm so sick of like having yeah. these gigantic black receivers huge bl- ugly black receivers sitting out on my beautiful shelves right mm-hmm. and um so i was like i'm gonna go all in on sonos this is really tangential i'm oh, gonna do this anyhow i was like i'm gonna go all in on sonos um got the play bar mm-hmm. got some play threes uh, got a bridge so I could hook up. I have this old you're, amp. You're crazy. This just just wait, like... just wait. Just, so check it out. So <sighs> I had an enormous... So here's the problem, right? Okay. TVs do not pass 5.1 audio from devices to out of their optical port to an... So the sound... The play bar can only be hooked up with an optical in. Mm-hmm. Okay? Optical out from your TV, optical into the sound bar, play bar, and you're supposed to get your beautiful 5.1 sound. Except... Nothing converts. No TVs convert, basically. Very few TVs convert, Mm -hmm. Um, which means you get shitty stereo sound, which sounds ridiculously bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I bought... An this, HDMI. This, sounds, oh wait, this sounds insanely complex. I bought. To me. Well, hold on. It was this, it was insanely really... complex until I got to work, and I bought an uh, 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 Octava HDMI switcher. Okay. Oh my god. Remote controlled. <laughs> remote controlled. And this, I basically this is a maniac. Totally. I struck. God. I struck. I struck my receiver. I struck my old sound bar. Um, and it's it's now I now have everything going into the Octava. And mm-hmm. out to the sound, sound out to the sound bar, uh, HDMI work? out to my TV. Yeah, it totally works. And the only thing that's annoying is that when it switches, it's got like a moment of like static and then a green thing and then okay, it goes yeah. to the next device. But like I hardly ever switch. So it's not like I'm switching between Apple TV yeah. and, and my cable box like I every 10 minutes. my setup with a receiver and five speakers sounds simpler than this. Well, yeah. here's the thing though. Anything I've eliminated I've eliminated almost all of my wires. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, so- the Sonos as a, as a house solution, because you know, I have a three-story house. Yeah. Right. It's incredible. Like now that they really cleaned up their their act, like in terms of the software. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's mm-hmm. not perfect, but the software and like being able to set up yeah. a new a new device in a new room. Like I put one up in our in our bedroom, right. and it's like here's the craziest part of all. Okay, so they had make this thing the bridge, which lets you put in external audio. So I have this old amp, a Luxman amp, which is like a Japanese high end audio company that, that well, they made high end stuff in the seventies, sixties, and seventies. And so I have this thing from the seventies, and I have my turntable hooked up to because I really wanted to listen to records. I have a bunch of old records. I have my old receiver had no phono input. It was an AV yeah, yeah. receiver mm-hmm. with no phono input. Um, so, but I really wanted it to be playing through this amp because the amp sounds really beautiful. So I hooked up the amp speaker outs <laughs> to the bridge inputs. Okay. Okay. So I can now put on a record playing through the amp into the bridge out to my Sonos speakers, yeah. I can put a record on downstairs and then play it in the bedroom, which is completely insane to me. Yeah. Like yeah, the but, most insane futuristic thing. But no one's ever, ever did the same stuff that you just went through to like go through that. I said, like, I'll say this. When I, I, hooked up, I hooked up my turntable to a Shoutcast server on my computer and we streamed it. To yeah, my that's, that's, it's crazy, right? <laughs> like, it's like, well, how did this get there? <laughs> but, uh, here's what I'll say. If yeah. you want to do this, okay. yeah. if you want to do it, here's what you need to do. You need to find, and there are cheaper ones. I bought an expensive switcher and I kind of regret, like I probably yeah. could have gotten a cheaper one. You need to do this. You need to get a switcher, which is remote controlled. You need to have a remote, like a Harmony remote, so you mm-hmm. can get everything switched all at once. Because you can use, yeah. I use my Harmony right. remote to, um, and 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 like, and it will work. It's a lot of money. The Sonos stuff is expensive, but I have to say, like, I'm truly excited about the lack of stuff now in my living room, mm-hmm. like the right. lack of cables and the lack of extra boxes. It's very exciting. I mean, I, I took this, but the switcher is so small, like you, I replaced a receiver right. with a switcher, essentially. Um, but he, anyhow, but but so like, yeah, the, Sonos. The thing is with that, it's like everyone's like, I, every time I hear someone talk about their audio system that 90% of the world doesn't like hear the difference, but like, it's like as soon as it's set up, it's oh awesome. my god! Oh and my it's god! Like Twenty four. Uh, I don't think. By the way, process, I don't think I was expensive. ever getting. I don't think I was ever getting the proper audio out of my right. soundbar through my. I had a uh, Onkyo receiver yeah. and mm-hmm. a Polk soundbar with a sub, which right. by the way is all for sale now. <laughs> and I, I need to send to our staff list. I need to say like I have a I have a a pretty good Onkyo receiver and mm-hmm. a and a pretty nice sounding Polk uh, soundbar yeah. and sub up for grabs with with by the way a wireless uh, setup for the sub. Yeah. Um, I don't think I was ever getting the right audio mm-hmm. and hearing but pure you, you digital. Never knew it, though. Hearing pure digital five one from like TV yeah. and games 
is crazy. Yeah. Okay. It's like totally different. And I haven't set up the threes yet as satellites, but you can set them up like yeah. really easily. <laughs> That's going to be a game changer. Wait, does this Sonos, does it do the bouncing audio thing mm-hmm. with the DSP? Do you have to set up the surround to get the surround? No, 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 no. It does like faux surround. Oh, really? But it's like, there. It's. I mean, I had my sound bar doing the same yeah. faux surround. The difference between the play bar faux surround and I mean, it's doing the it's actually right. getting the five point one right. and trying to do what it's supposed so, to be doing with by it. The way, so no, everything... there was like a, there was like an at the beginning of Blade Runner. Sorry, the beginning of Blade Runner <laughs> in the in the wow. new All version. Right. The beginning okay. of Blade Runner. There's uh, when Which when new Leon, version? the newest most recent okay. cut when Leon comes in for his um, Voight Conf test. There's like a knock on the door, and the, and the guy who's talking to him is like, "Come in." And the when I heard the knock on the door on the play bar, I was okay. like, "Someone's at my door." Like it sounded so <laughs> far off, it was incredible. Okay. Anyhow, go ahead. The psychoacoustic stuff is well, crazy. No, so I think all this, everything that you're describing, is like why building a TV is hard. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, no, but you know, I, and like, I talked to the Sonos people, yeah, because I, I sent them an email. I was like, I cannot believe you guys are selling this play bar and not telling people how insanely hard it is to actually get the right audio out of it. And right. and I talked to some people there, and they were like, you know, we we're working on on messaging that better Mm -hmm. and and making sure people know what they're getting into and what the but they said like you know isn't and i think it's an interesting point but why is it so hard yeah 5.1 exists and it's on your blu-ray player and it's on your xbox and all this other stuff Mm -hmm. and it's digital like like it's been made so difficult to get it like into your tv and then out to something else and it's like why is it so hard and i think it's a really valid question i think that there's guys this this camera started flashing and making a high pitched noise. Shoot Josh. <laughs> Get out of the it's way, just, dude. Just duck. Is wow. That eject, is that just ejected that the lens? That thing is real yeah. mad at you. I mean, this that's is, like, that seriously this caused Ryan being like, you really, should just buy all Sony. Yeah. Can, we get, can we get a professional? <laughs> just link it all together. It's like Terminate. Dude, Terminate. Bravo link. <laughs> wow. It would just imagine if it ejected the lens at my head right now. Does it, is anybody, is any professional you. going to come into the studio? Okay, think, someone I is coming in. What's right happening now. right now? Well, is any professional going to come in fucking here? Fucking terrifying. Professional hit Anyhow, yeah. come in here. I'm just going to ignore that. I would that. not talk about surround sound stuff anymore. You know what? Sony makes a great surround sound uh, setup. <laughs> Definitely Sony. Sony, high yeah. quality Bravia, stuff. Bravia Link. Bravia mm-hmm. Link solves all your problems. Wants everything to work. Do you know what this is? Is this a problem? Should we be worried? It's mad. Wow. It sounds like somebody flatlining. So, Christian, yeah. what happened? Battery <laughs> issue. Great. Good these stuff. Ca- I thought these cameras don't have batteries. Well, they it shouldn't be running on battery. Oh, boy. Anyhow. Wow. So, uh, so, just, so, just so talk over but, it. Yeah, but what I will quick. say, that I will say, just to put a cap on that. So, first mm-hmm. off, yeah. I agree. It is really tough to make a TV. And not only make TVs, but make them interoperable. If you're Apple, though, you say... Right. You're using your Apple TV on our Apple TV or whatever. You don't need it. Sure. You've got the Apple TV. Here's all the services. Are you going to build a soundbar? I mean, I think what they would do is build in audio where they would say how amazing and incredible mm-hmm. and how it, you don't even need a soundbar because the audio so is so are, great. At some point, you're gonna, but they're going to build the soundbar into the television. It's like yeah, it'll be built into the television, right. and, they'll, and it'll be like an incredible new type of sound that nobody's ever conceived of built out of a single piece of solid aluminum. Yeah. And it'll be incredible. Just like, like Bose. Just it's like going to be Bose. Just like EarPods. Right. It'll be Bose. The best headphones ever made. Okay, but yeah. it's whatever. <laughs> 10 years. But that's how they'll sell it. Yeah. They'll sell it as yeah. a complete package if they're going to do a TV, which I kind of don't think they're going to personally. But, I mean, I don't feel like that's a... I feel like that's a mis- that's a quagmire for them to get yeah, into. Right. I feel like they don't need to make TVs. They just need to make the things that go into the TVs. What they need to do is say, it's doing it again. Yeah, it's yeah. bad. Um, they, what they need to do is make the thing, the holy grail, which yeah. is you pick your cable service. Mm-hmm. We have all these additional services. Yeah. One HDMI input does it all. Internet, you know, it's like IPTV yeah. plus right. all of our services with one HDMI cable into whatever set you want. You might as well just go after that one, too. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously the next <laughs> this, on the, this on the is going list. To start a... You know, and like, and I think that, that that's the solution. That's the holy grail. That's like, mm-hmm. get rid of your cable box, get rid of your other boxes. Right. You can play games, because it's, you know, you can use, you know, it's got, we're, it's full iOS, and we're yeah, opening it up to developers. Thing, no. Get rid of your game yeah. console, get rid of your cable box. Get rid- yeah, I just but, don't but know the, that they're ever going to gonna build the set top or the full TV. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I agree with you on that. I, I don't think that's the, I think if they're, if and, and look, I don't run Apple's business, but I, if they're, if they want to avoid quicksand, 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the thing to do is to build the box that gets the stuff to your TV. There's yeah, always right. going to be that box. Asking people to buy, you can't upgrade a TV every two years right. unless no. you have some sort of elaborate new program to well, do Sam, that. I mean, Samsung literally, you take out the guts and you put in new I guts. Mean, but TV should be, like, TV should be the, the way to do it. I, I think this ucky. flies in the face is, of what Samsung is, is doing. Ucky. It. <laughs> I think this flies in the face of what Samsung is doing. By the way, I have a Panasonic with smart TV functions in my bedroom. I watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hulu and Netflix and Amazon and on you it. Know, you don't find that interface to be. I think the interface slow. It's about as bad as the Apple TV interface. To be perfectly honest, really, with you. it's really not that huge right. of, a, of a jump. To be huh. perfectly honest, and um, and I use it all the time because it's there and it's easy. It's mm-hmm. relatively easy. There's a there's a Netflix button on my remote. Yeah. Um. So, you know, but the but the, the do you have TV up there like a cable box? Yeah. Which I have to unplug at night because it's so noisy because it's a hard drive like oh, whirs up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Like I've woken up. It's like <laughs> and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> and I have like gotten up in a haze and like uh, pulled out the plug from the back of the thing and then like <laughs> passed back out. It's yeah. so annoying. Can I just say Time Warner? Please do something about your stupid boxes. Not only are they not only do they play first off, Time Warner, do you have this thing where Time Warner just randomly will mute? A show while you're watching right, it. I, I, I do you know? You don't know what I'm talking about. Time Warner, yeah, yeah. You don't have cable. Not okay, Time Warner will like mute a show. Like I'm watching a show and it's like it's being edited for television, but it is regular television. It's like Friends and like somebody will be talking and just get mutes for no reason. Mm-hmm. And then it also does this thing where it just like it stops. Like we actually have a we actually have a joke at home, which is uh, me doing this sound effect. Okay. Like imagine a scene from Mad Men. All right, I'm on. I'm okay, listening. I'm gonna be I'm the focused. character of Pete Campbell. Oh god, it's already bad. And it's like it's you know, uh, it's like you know, Don is uh, in his office. Pete comes in, he's like, Don, I have to brrr. like that's what happens <laughs> on our TV. <laughs> Don, we've got to do something about these brrr. like it just freezes and stutters. Oof. It is incredibly bad. Time yeah. Warner Cable, you are the worst. I'm sorry. Are I, you I, happy they're building an app for the Apple TV? I've never seen anything as bad as Time Warner Cable. I've never seen any product, and I, I feel like a prisoner. Yeah, I can't yeah. get rid of it. I want to watch. You tried. Many I want times. to watch Mad Men the night it's on. Right. Yeah. I'm a prisoner. Somebody destroy Did, wait, didn't, Time Warner didn't Cable. AMC come back to Dish. Oh, I'm not messing with Dish. Forget about Dish. Oh, you mean the stuff, the thing yeah. that goes out in a rainstorm? I had yeah. Direct TV, the a product that actually like it's a bad rainstorm. I no longer have television. It's yeah. like living oh, wow. in it's like living <laughs> in the 1950s. Oh, what, do you have, it's incredible. Do you have FiOS as an option at all? Or? No. If I had okay. FiOS as an option, we wouldn't be having this conversation because I'd be enjoying the beautiful, wonderful, fantastic well, I mean, FiOS service. Is FiOS that like look at how happy Neil is? I'm look at the smile happy. on his it's face. Wonderful. Is it wonderful. Really? Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Anyhow, my uh, internet speeds go up like once a month. All right, hold on. We have other we have other topics to talk about. It's funny because this TV stuff is uh, ah TV. Here's the thing about TV. Uh, Can I just say this? (laughs) No, I just say this. It's in the news. I want I want TV. This is the thing. Okay, TVs. There are certain parts of TV that are really important to me. Like I really want to watch them. Game of Thrones, Mad Mm -hmm. Men. There's a few other shows. There's a few really great shows on TV. I don't care about the rest of the crap. I'm not a guy who you know at night I will watch 30 Rock reruns. By the way, I've been watching a lot of Big Bang Theory reruns because there's some (laughs) channel that has like five of them in a row and when you're when you've seen all of the 30 Rock reruns over and over like and seen all the signs, you I'm, give up. I'm now, I'm, now, I'm, I'm now starting to watch it like you're hate watching. Yeah, Bang kind Bang. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind yeah. of hate watching it. Yeah, some episodes aren't that bad actually. I've been desperately <laughs> trying to hate watch ba- uh, Superman Returns. Yeah, because uh, that's, I, the, I that's the Man Brandon Ralph yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I can't. How's Man of Steel? It's an Noi- alien noisy. movie. Yeah. I get, I get so angry here's the, the more thing. I think so about it. So Zod. You went Zod. General yeah. Zod, right? He's I mean, but it's it's like I don't think Superman is about like alien stuff. Well, but no. he is an alien. Right, but like but I think it's about like he's an alien on Earth and mm-hmm. he's like integrated mm-hmm. with Earth stuff. Mm-hmm. So Earth Man stuff. of Steel is like an alien movie. And it's like yeah, it's cruel. like Independence Day. Spoiler alert. It's basically no, Independence Day. No, 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 Day. do not compare it to Independence Day. I, 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 I get it. There, like there, like is, like, there is a thing about wiping out the human race, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, stuff. it's like he but shows you, up but, and it's like literally the same plot. Like, yes. You, yes. You, they're like, they're locusts. They come and they tear Oh, are you serious? It's like, God, can Hollywood get a new idea about the alien invasion? They're like, they're going to use our fossil fuels. Like, that's all yeah. Hollywood can come up yeah, yeah, yeah. with for alien invasion. Now, everything about Man of Steel is like, if you spent just, I would, 10, 15 minutes or less yeah. of like invulnerable people pummeling mm-hmm. each other yeah. and spent yeah. that time on like developing a plot, the plot yeah. it would here's be an great. I, it would here's be an idea great for movie. Hollywood. Aliens come because they love having sex with humans. <laughs> 
That's why they're on her. What are they doing here? They just love having wow. sex with human beings. They're, we're like, we're just like sex toys. Now, that would be an interesting Man of Steel. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they're here to bang us. <laughs> just, just like anything new, okay? Yeah. Just a new idea. Like, oh my God, no, I don't want yeah. that. Quick, Superman, help us. <laughs> Save us from the aliens who are trying to make love to us. Monsters. Just whatever it is, like they're going to enslave us and do us. Like just not that like they're using our fossil fuels. Like our yeah. problems are their problems. You know, like yeah. uh, Hollywood's like, what's in the news these days? Fossil fuels. Like <laughs> aliens want our fossil fuels. Yeah, yeah. Like come on, guys. No, it's, I mean yeah. you should go see it. Okay, I will go see it. Anyhow, I, I saw it through. Uh, Wait, but what were we just talking about? Hate, trying to hate watch. Uh, uh, you wanted to, you want to do a TV thing? Didn't no, you? no, no. But hold on. Something about I was gonna. I was starting to complain, and then you brought up Superman. Oh, oh, um, you were hate watching Big Bang Gosh. Theory. Big Bang Theory. <laughs> which, oh, I was saying, great, great was name saying. for an alien. <laughs> 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 yeah, big, yeah. Bang big Bang Theory. <laughs> oh my God, this is a pitch <laughs> happening right now. Sex crazy aliens uh, enslave the human race. Yeah. It's the Big Bang. It's the Big Bang Theory. So what is going on with this one hair? I don't even. Okay, it's fixed. Um. All I was going to say yeah. is is I, I like to watch the TV that I want to watch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it is – and I don't want – I want to have, like, a good experience. Like, I want the right. sound to be good. I'm, I'm not, like, a crazy – I'm not an audiophile in the sense that I'm not going to go get – you know, I didn't go to the audio show in, in uh, Frankfurt or wherever Trent went and mm -hmm. did – you know, like, I'm not doing the $65,000 speakers. Right. I just want it to look good and sound good, and I just want to be able to get to the stuff I want to get to as quickly and simply as possible. Right. And – Someone should solve that. Mm -hmm. It's just very, very difficult because we are in a – the structure of television the, with the cable companies and the people who make television and distribute it is so – they're so deeply mobbed up with each other. Oh, yeah. And they're so – they're making so much money. I mean this is why right. Comcast bought NBC, right? I mean and like the, – mm -hmm. Lit and these are people you have to remember. These are people who are mad because they can't make money off of DVD sales anymore. Mm -hmm. right. Like they're actively fighting things – because they th they think there's a place they can find their DVD money, right? right. And 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 I think like you know, it's a really hard and battle. And everything that they build is like an attempt to reclaim DVD money. Yeah, and right. Apple's not more powerful than the TV industry, right? Like they might like to think they are, but they're not. And those guys have to see money signs to want to do something. Mm -hmm. I just don't I just don't see how they they figure it out at this point. Well, uh, I mean, certainly it's not going to be Roku. I'll tell you that. Well, it's funny because you know, it's not going to be really as Samsung of. bought Boxy for thirty million dollars, like now. Great, like, this minute ago. They made, and a it's new, funny. they made a new Boxy box. I don't even remember That's that. That's the Boxy TV. We did. I did a whole report on. it. I went Boxy's in yeah. New York. Yeah, we this know. Thing I was like in Walmart. I don't. No, no. Signs, and after it was, yeah, it was Walmart. The box that watched free TV on it, and like yeah. it had an antenna. This is the device that has led to my my uh, my enduring law of, the, of internet television. Right. Which is any device that has an antenna plug and an Ethernet jack is doomed to fail. You, you can have one or the other. You can't have both. Well, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious that that it's not gonna. It needs to be as sim simple as possible. Yeah, right. it needs to be like when you call Time Warner and get your service, they say you can have our DVR box. It's nine ninety five right. a month, mm -hmm. or you can have the Boxy box, which offers these other services, and that's fourteen ninety five a month. Right. Okay. And one of those is going to also do your. I mean, they're both going to do cable. Right. And then the other stuff. Well, I mean, the Boxy TV. I mean, is, like, we we went. So this um, just happened. Boxy's been acquired by Samsung for thirty million dollars. Yeah, right. Um, and you know, we went. We did a whole like video report on it. Like, mm -hmm. I was very excited about this product. Right. This is going to do. It's going to have live television. It's going to have the streaming stuff. Yeah. Simplified interface. The DVR is in the cloud. And the I they sent me three different review units. Like area. And yeah. we were never able to review it because we could never get it to work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, like, it's, it's, uh, and it was just like, man, this is this should be awesome, but it's not. Right. I mean, it's one of those things where like best case scenario it can work. Yeah. yeah. But you've got to have like some kind of crazy, you're in the one percent of the one percent right. where mm -hmm. you're gonna have that perfect scenario. I mean, like David was all David like was like, You have to review this. And I was like, I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> because the review will be one line, I plugged it in and it won't connect to Wi-Fi. I mean, right. I think there's I think there's still a desire to have great a great TV experience in the right. living room. Mm -hmm. I think that people still do that and want that. I think that that families still watch movies together. I think mm -hmm. that people still tune in for Mad Men when it's on. You know, they want to see the. I mean, you know, now more building, than ever, Twitter is building a business around yeah. live television. I mean, now more than ever, well, you know, with shows like watch it live. with shows like right. Game of Thrones. I mean, I feel like that's so much more of a global event now mm -hmm. than than any TV has ever been. Right, because you you have to watch it live. Or I mean, maybe we're just nerds, Twitter, but I feel Facebook, like you... I feel like shows like that are just really. Oh my God! Somebody built 
the Homer, the Simpsons car. Homer car. Yeah, I'm just gonna give this. Throw that in the. Are in you the, kidding the, me? The document. Yeah. Evan will get that up. Can Here. we please? Can we also yeah. please like hit that as a story? <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Um, um, but I just think that I just think that. Uh, I'm so sick of talking about TV. Mm-hmm. Let's move on. Okay. I mean, I don't even want to talk. It's like, it's like, what can you say that hasn't been said already? Well, I do want to talk about the Samsung thing a little bit because, yeah. I mean, it was what's Richard to me like it, Boxy's not a runaway success. Nope. They raised 29 million in funding, and Samsung only bought them for 30. Like, this is not like why? Uh, why did they do? Probably this? they want to be out of this business that they're in because yeah. it's failing. It's just Boxy just and also it on. Like, Samsung, a lot of Samsung, money. who is traditionally weak on software, probably sees some great software yeah. there. And they, they have do, good UI ideas. Yeah. And, like, right. Good, right. Like, and they've been working on Boxy as a UI for a decade. Mm-hmm. And how how long has Boxy been around for? Forever. Right. Yeah, pre-hardware, a long I mean, time. I used to use Boxy on, I had like a, a PC that I built that I had hooked up to my television you know, six years ago that I was running Boxy on. Mm-hmm. So, oh boy, that's sad. Yeah. Just out of everything <laughs> I just said. Well, I mean, Boxy radically changed as a company, right? They went yeah. from being like this yeah. like wild outsider to... I mean, I, to being I, a company, yeah. yeah, to being a company that was like in bed with Comcast, petitioning the FCC for things. Like right. this market, like that's what I'm saying. This market's really, oh, the Homer car is ready. Can oh we, yeah, can we, we see the, the Homer car? car? Let's watch this or look at it. It's yeah. So this is the car that I don't know if, if unless I'm mistaken, there was it's, it's uh, an there was an episode of, of The Simpsons brother. where his he gets put in charge of making a car because his brother runs uh, owns a car company or something, mm-hmm. and and he. This is the car that he envisions. It's got like a bunch of really ridiculous stuff, horrible oh, stuff. Oh, we missed it. It was ra- raced on June 29th. Oh, my God. Oh, that's insane. Anyhow, so somebody's made the actual version of it. This is great. Oh, it's got a little Bart in the, in the back. That's good. That's cute. Um, okay, so what's next on our list? Hey, what's, Let's what, see. What do we got, Ross? Uh, we've got, uh, you weren't talking about the uh, Victor Oladipo stuff at all? Yeah, you know, it's because uh, we, we keep doing all this glass stuff. We were just talking about this upstairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of pairs of Google Glass at this point. We have four, so I think, total. We have four, we do? really? Four, yeah, Michael Shane just got a pair. We have the other pair, and we have one in, on the West Coast. Okay. I think Nate Oliver is Giles just bought one. Like, I think we have four. We have wow. three or four. So we're like, we've been trying to do interesting things with them. So we put it on Victor, and you got drafted in them. And I think what we've discovered about glass, like, Baseline is that it's a camera you wear on your face. I mean, yeah, which the, is the, interesting the, for us. The biggest, it's like a media production, right? The biggest game. thing so far has been like this thing can see what you see, yeah, yeah, and it, and it can it will automatically upload. And the, and you know, the Victor thing was cool. Like he was super into it. Yeah, right. uh, like ridiculous. It's actually it. it is actually really cool to see. Um, you know, it's like it's it's like a, it's kind of like a documentary from the viewpoint of the subject, right? right. Which is which is really weird. If you watch the and you should watch this this video. And I'm as people know, I'm not a sports fan, mm-hmm. but I thought this was a really interesting. The video was really yeah. cool to see mm-hmm. his experience. I mean, this is him the morning of the draft. He's basically yeah. looking out of the room, out of the window of his yeah. hotel room, and talking about the day ahead and what he's going to do right. and what he's thinking and about. And he, like you see him like I don't know if this is in the final cut. Like we saw him like he's like. Looking singing. at different outfits, he's yeah. singing. No, yeah. I mean, like, all of this is, like, wild. But, like, here's what I'm, like, uh, here's where I've landed on glass. It's, like, it's interesting. Everybody is fascinated by it. Like, he's walking around the NBA draft full of other, like, 20-year-olds who are about to become millionaires, and they're, like, focused on what he's wearing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're, like, they want to play with it. That's all great. But, like, fundamentally what it does is it's a camera. Mm-hmm. Right and, now. And, and I think all I of think, the other features of it are, yeah. like, gimmicky and yeah. bad. Well, or, or, or have yet to be truly put to the test, and I think right. that... You know, for us, that's the next thing that we w- I'd like to see is, you know, this is not a product you can get. So I don't, right. we're not reviewing it because you can't go buy it. Yeah, we're, it, I mean, like beta. literally our project is like we're giving it to it's people. It's in beta, doing interesting things. right, it's right. in beta. I mean, I think the next question is like, can it really be used for like effective navigation? Can it really right. be used to help you do the things that you do that aren't? Is it a computer? That, is it a computer? And can mm-hmm. it do the things that you would normally do with a phone? In place of that, right? Well, you know, this and then this is the besides callback. taking pictures. This is a callback to the watch thing. Do you want the information right here? Or do you still want something recent that you can just like pull your arm? Yeah, up? yeah. Well, do you want it? Do you want it here or here or yeah. here? I mean, I think at some point, um, I mean, Google Glass as a as a I think that Google Glass as a concept mm-hmm. as a basic concept can work in a, in the right context, which is out of the thing that looks like Google Glass and into a pair of glasses, right? Um, with a completely seamless user interface. That does not that does not hiccup on you. That does not like fail. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's in beta now, so they don't have that. It's right. beta hardware. It's beta software, as far as I'm concerned. I think that can work in the best case scenario, which doesn't exist yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- watches we know work as glanceable information. Will they work for more than that? I think they can mm-hmm. in the best case right. scenario, which mm-hmm. has not existed yet. Right. And we know that these work. 
Right. We yeah. know that these do work, but and the, they are. They and the distraction that people experience is not uh, is not so great that anybody's like, "Well, I don't want one because of that distraction." Right. The, the big problem we're solving is like, I don't want to pull this out of my pocket. That, that's that's problem that's we're it. trying to solve is I don't want to take something out of my pocket or have to look at a different <laughs> or have to look at it over what a here. World have to look in. over here instead of look over here or instead <laughs> of look up here. I mean, we are solving like. Yeah, this is a this is a, a a very very first. This is a real world first problem. world problem. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's like I'm I'm so sick. Oh, why do I have to do this? Come on, I that, I just want to awesome. do this. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. yeah, got it. Yeah, that like, was too I long. don't want to have to do that to take a picture. I want to scream, "Okay, glass!" Literally, take like, a picture. I'm just going to be in my motorized, self driving wheelchair. <laughs> okay, wearing my Google Glass. Yeah. And not even issuing commands. Hopefully, it'll just read my brain waves yeah, just and know and know that I want to take so pictures. So, what you're of saying things. is the actual dystopian world is Wally. Yeah, I haven't it's seen. The world Wall- Wally. I haven't seen Wally. Have you not seen? Wally? I don't watch these movies because I cry constantly. <laughs> you okay, throughout cry. the, I don't want to cry anymore. <laughs> I have enough problems in my life. I don't need to cry just, over an just animated watch movie. The first I watched. Up on repeat. I watched Wreck It Ralph on a plane. Oh, oh I haven't God. seen it yet. Don't oh. you cry during Wreck It Ralph on a plane? I dare you. I dare you to watch <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph and not shed at least one. All right. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to watch it. Yeah. What was that? That's the rat that keeps pissing off the cameras. You're joking, right? Yes, I'm completely full of shit. That sounds no. terrible. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else? Uh, we're just about wrapping up, actually. Mm. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's wrap talk up. about immigration, mm-hmm. which I don't want to talk about. Let's not talk about immigration. No. Yeah. No, let's not get started. MTV is now playing music videos again for one day only. Yeah, <laughs> Microsoft and Intel. Guys. Microsoft thanks, Intel. Thanks big announcement this morning. Working together to improve trackpads on Windows laptops. Finally. <laughs> hey, well, I mean, it is. It's only taken 15 years of funny, awful trackpads. Like hundred, hundred and eighty comments on this. I mean, it's, it's funny how like how much everybody knows it sucks and how little progress is. Here's the thing: yeah. if you've used an, a Mac, trackpad. you used a Mac trackpad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you've used like most Windows laptops or trackpad devices. I mean, yeah. you, you know, you know what's up. Yeah, right. there's a huge difference. Well, it's funny because the uh, the comments we always get when we when we give their trackpads bad scores are it's two. It's one. You have know the right drivers. It's well, no, it's not, it's never that. It's one. Everybody has a mouse, so mm-hmm. why do you care? And it's like you. No, wrong. And, wrong. The, and the new one has been well, Windows eight supports touchscreens, and that's the new. It's like, I used yeah. to be. By the way, I used to be a mouse guy. I used to be the guy who brought the mouse. Yes, and right. Would remember. bust it out, and and it's like I just it, it just doesn't make sense. I stopped. Yeah. I mean, for certain things, there are definitely there's definitely a use for mice. Yeah. Game, gaming Games, and yeah. some some like you know if you're a Photoshop dude, like there's a reason why you might want to use a mouse as opposed but to using a trackpad. Even, even then, like there there are times. And correct me if I'm wrong. Like when we're doing CS this year and we play a little bit, like we had to play Team Fortress together like a trackpad. Yeah. It's not the end of the world yeah. to get used to it. Yeah, especially with one of these. No, but. I agree. I, I have to say though, I was playing Hotline Miami, and you definitely, I think you definitely need a mouse okay. to play that yeah. properly. It's not easy to play with a trackpad at all. What about a game controller? If you just plug that in, uh, I guess that would be okay. Okay, sure. Mm. Great, a, great podcast, guys. Great, great All right, well, that's the Verge cast <laughs> for this week. Uh, uh, are yeah. we done? We are done. We're yeah. done. Anything we need? Anybody? Oh, on the Verge is going to be up today. Uh, up today, and then we'll have a we have a sneak peek of it right after this. We have a sneak peek of on the Verge right after this. I have no idea what it is, but we have a we had a cool show. We did a cool show, Mo mm-hmm. Rocca, yeah, uh, and uh, and John Benjamin, right? Which we which we oh we're doing the whole show live. Yeah, and then we're we'll streaming have it, it. Then we'll have it on a man a little bit later after this. Oh, we're streaming. You're gonna see yeah. my face more, not too much. That well, you have to see my face make, too. A little you'll see bit. Ross's Sorry about face. That. Yeah, and 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 Nathan Seikert went out to the streets uh, mm-hmm. of New York to talk to people about city bikes. City bikes. City bikes. Um, I don't know if you guys know what city bikes are, but they're like bikes you can rent. If you, you don't know yet, yet uh, I haven't yet. They're insane. I they're, really so can try I it. just talk about this for a second? They're yeah, insane. So city bikes are like bikes that are available on the streets of New York. Yes. You, if you're a tourist, you can go, you put a credit card in, you get a bike, no helmets provided. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then you're, as it's tourist from wherever, you take to the busy streets of Manhattan, crowded streets of Manhattan. Yes. For half an hour. For wh- no, however 40, long you want. For, for however long if you want. You don't die in those 45 if for however minutes. long you want, with, with like no protection, no yeah. idea of where you're going, no idea of what the rules of the New York roads are. Uh, right. By the way, there are none. Um, <laughs> it's every man for himself. Yeah. And uh, I just think it's insane. Yeah. Like that, you think they would say like you've got to have a helmet? Like here, take one from yeah. our helmet station. And like the thing is like let's let's be clear, it's I, not, helmet station. For those who don't have this are in that city, they don't realize like it's not just like a few places. Literally, the bike to people ratio is about at singularity at this point. No, like, every it's, other no. block. No. Everywhere, I, if every, there, there are a lot of bikes. In Manhattan, every day, I, I walk Manhattan, out of my apartment and I'm like, man, Brooklyn. well, yeah, but like there yeah. are a lot of bikes. I wish there was Brooklyn. a station directly in front of my apartment and directly in front of there the train. There are three within one block. of Listen, let me tell you something. I saw. Because then I would do it every day. I was in a cab. 
Yeah. The cab driver was angry at a city bike person for mm-hmm. getting into their lane because they don't know how to stay in so the bike lane. So we hit the guy. <laughs> so then he <laughs> so we, ran them, we ran them over. And then he put them in the trunk. Back, back and forth. And he made no. sure to return no. the bike on time. No, the, cab, the, cab dri- the cab driver was angry. He was like yelling. Yeah. And then I looked over at the city bike person and there was like a bike messenger yeah. in front of the city bike person. And the bike mm-hmm. messenger was doing this. He was like, like, <laughs> like uh, literally shaking his damn head. Yeah. While riding a bike at the city bike person. To be yeah. fair. So like they're pissing normal. everybody off. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. Taxi cab drivers and bike messengers are not like they're kind of angry all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard uh, But all the most, they're the most important have players you seen on the road. Premium Rush. Oh <laughs> they're, my god. They're no. Mean. No, but I did see the version with Kevin Bacon called Quicksilver. Uh, <laughs> no. From the eighties. He has no. a bike messenger movie. You don't wow, know that? No. It's called Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Okay. You don't know about this? I'm looking up. Now. Oh my god, dude. This is classic. Wow. I think it might be bad. All right, that's the Verge cast of this week. Uh, I, fall, stay tuned. On the Verge streaming live. Two minutes live. to keep it locked, and then two, two and minutes then. to keep it locked, and then on the Verge streaming yeah. live with uh, John Benjamin and Mo Rocca. Yes. And 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 Man on the Street. Uh, and then and that'll be up to download and stuff yes. later or in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll be back next week with the Verge cast. Right. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can email us at vergecast at theverge.com. You can uh, leave a comment in the post when it goes up. We love that. Or you can find us on Twitter. The Verge is. Uh, at Verge. Yes. Uh, I'm Joshua Topolsky. Neelai is Reckless. Yes. Ross is Ono oh Roscoe, no E on the end. I don't know why there were... I'm sorry. I, I don't get the E thing. Roscoe is, has an E traditionally. I guess. I mean, no, I don't no, know. No, 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 no. That's, that's a yeah, fact. That's true. It's a fact. It's very inefficient. Anyhow, Ono oh Roscoe. Uh, and, uh, and that's it. We'll be back next week. Tomorrow is the 4th of July for mm-hmm. Americans, for true Americans. American. Who want to enjoy their uh, the freedom. And yep. their their patriotism. Also, Happy Canada Day from Monday. Not as significant I mean. as the American celebration that's <laughs> going to be happening across the nation. Less fireworks, fireworks. Yeah. hot dogs, uh, 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 American flag bikinis. Yes, those mm-hmm. are my favorite. Yes. Yeah, I think you know where this one's going. It's and a Budweiser commercial. <laughs> cool, cool buds sliding down yeah. your throat. And most importantly, the Independence Day marathon. That's definitely going to happen somewhere on TV. And the Independence Day. No, that's definitely happening. Yeah. Like TBS or something oh, is yeah. jamming on the Independence Day marathon. I also recommend watching both uh, Top Gun and Days of Thunder on Blu-ray. God, yes. And so that's interesting. I, we've done that. Back, for, just back that's to back. A several years. It's the same movie, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You can watch them in any All order. American. Yeah, it's yeah, all it's American. Uh, anyhow, so We'll be back next week, uh, and until then, I, I wish you and, and your family the very best in this uh, troubling holiday uh, week. <laughs>